it's fine. I mean, you know, it's whatever you, anytime you set a record, you know, it's obviously a comedy but It's not as, I guess, not as fun. I'm not happy about it when it's not part of a win. What has been bothering you the most during this? What's been what? Bothering you the most during this losing streak? The fact that we're losing. Um, I think we um, in position to win games, and you know when you in position uh, in the third quarter, in the fourth quarter, uh, you got to be um, present mentally and physically, and you got to be willing to do a little bit more than the other team to win games. And, you know, I think we compete. I think we are together. I think we, we're trying to do the, all the right things. But that little bit of wanting it more than the other team, um, and wanting it more doesn't mean playing harder. It means being able to be sharp one more possession, being able to do your job when you're tired and when you're wearing down, being able to count on the next guy to, to do his job and trust him to do that so you do your job right. So. Um, all those things got to connect um, in the big moments of the game, and they haven't been connecting for us, um, all of us. How much do you think that's a new, just kind of a new group of guys? I think that's part of it. Um, you know, guys coming from different situations, us being kind of new with each other, but it's not an excuse. I mean, we've been together long enough. We know what we're trying to do, and um, we've we've been in the league. You know, we've all we all have experience, and we know. Um, what it takes and what has to happen when it's time to win a game. And we just haven't done it at the, the level that we need to do it at to win games. And, you know, that's why we're coming up short. What did you think of Nasir tonight? I thought he was great. Um, anytime you are a guy that is not playing regular minutes um, or just a young player you know, where you don't have any experience, you haven't been in the league, um, or you've just been on a bench and games going by and you're not even getting your name not getting called. Um, so for him to just be ready, and to come in fearless and have an impact on the game because he had a huge impact on the game. Um, that's special. You know, that has nothing to do with talent. That has nothing to do with um, hype or any of those things. That's just coming in and helping the team and, and being ready to do that. Um, being called late in the game or random moments of the game, and he comes in with energy, flying around, effort, and, and fearless. Like I said, so I thought he was great. You know, I was proud of proud of what he did tonight. We were talking the other day about if this is a December, maybe it's not as big a deal, the streak. But at what point does it become a concern? I mean, I don't know. That's a good question. It's, it's just so early. You know, I know that's the easy thing to say, but, I mean, we could very well win the next three and, and be at 500 and playing better basketball. And it's like, okay, here we go. But um, right now we're just not getting the job done down the stretch when it's time to win games. I, um, we might be last in the league defensively in the fourth quarter. Um, and if you're in every game like we are, we haven't been blown out. So if you're in every game like we are and you last defensively in fourth quarter defensive rating, you're not going to win those games. And I think that's what we're struggling with right now. But it is what it is. got to you know, stay down. We can't fold. You know, when these type of situations happen, the most important thing is obviously staying together and never fold. You know, the teams that fold and just give in to it, it, it keeps going. The teams that keep working and stay together and keep our minds right, you know, even though y'all don't want to hear that, keep our minds right and, and not fold, and stuff will start going in the right direction. You know, maybe we'll get a few bounces down the stretch and a few deflections, and the other team will miss some shots, and it'll, it'll work out in our favor. How'd you get to that late? I got my lip busted in the first quarter. Who got you? Um, Waba and Waba. Hmm. Yeah, he busted my lip. It wasn't a foul either. It's a good look. My lip's big enough, man. I don't, <laughs> I don't need no extra swelling on my lip right now. You know that you had your scoring touchdown. I mean, I, I never. Tonight wasn't even one of the nights. Like, I've had nights in the past where I came out making shots and I was just like, this might be one of them nights, and I didn't feel like that tonight. I'm um, in warm ups. I was a little bit stiff from playing last night. Um, you know, tweaked my ankle a little bit last night, so it was like stiff. I got kicked in, in my leg against the Warriors, so it was like my legs was feeling pretty stiff. And then when the game started, I just, you know, I think it was just my mind. You know, in my mind, I was like, I'm going to jump, I'm going to dive into this game so I can make my make my body follow that, and um, that's what happened. It needed you, too. Like, people weren't hitting shots around, but like, you probably felt like you had, it was one of those nights you had to do that. Yeah, I mean, when something has to happen, 
you know, I, I mean, I've been here eight years now. Y'all know when something has to happen, I'm going, I'm willing to, to take that shot. And I don't mean a jump shot. I mean, like, to go for it. And um, that's all I did. How tired are you? I'm not that tired. Um, they asked me that right after the game. If I was, like, dehydrated, I, I feel fine. Yeah, I mean, I think the the best way to to move forward with that is just to show confidence in the guys stepping up, um, like Nas coming and having a game, the type of game he had. You keep encouraging him and let him know how well he's doing, you know, so he can continue to do that. Because if he's coming in and giving us that type of energy and effort, you know, it makes up for other things, and it's him being impactful, you know, towards winning. So I think it's just by showing belief in guys that are stepping in and. Continuing to encourage him. Same thing with Scal. Um, across the line, you know, whoever has to step up and uh, help the team, we got to be behind them, and they have to know that so they can be comfortable um, and things can continue to move forward because they're here for a reason. Um, every guy in this locker room, we've seen them do great things in pickup or practice and camp at some point. So, um, Gary Trent, I mean, I. I believe in these dudes, and I think you know the more belief that we show in them, the more confidence and sure themselves they'll ha they'll be, um, and they'll be able to help us just move forward until guys get healthy. But it's if you're looking for like any excuses, they're not you're not gonna find it here. I mean, one last question, we're gonna wrap it up. whatever. At one point in the third quarter, it appeared they were running a box and one to try to cool you off. When's the last time you've seen that? Against the Clippers. I mean, they. They picked me up for a court, and they was just like, don't let him catch the ball against the Clippers. And, you know, the first, what people were saying was, oh, he didn't score in the fourth quarter, but I couldn't hardly get the ball. And when I did, they was loaded up. So um, they did it last night, and tonight it was, I mean, it worked out perfect because when teams do that, you know, the, the easy thing to do is give up the ball and, you know, let's play four on four or, or four on three or whatever it is. And um, making those plays, allows guys to, to see that, you know, I trust that the right thing is going to happen. And that's, that's the play that has to be made.